bringing them to a place where we can discuss them openly and hopefully find some solutions and uh, instigate the change, changes, I should say, that we want to see. And yesterday we had uh, redefining the global agenda, emerging trends in the Middle East and responsible reporting on humanitarian crises. We had the Prime Minister of the Republic of Turkey here to speak to us, talking about how Turkey can't be classified because it unites East and West, and importantly, pointing out in terms of the refugee crises that are happening in the world, that it was Turkey that brought the Rohingya refugee crisis to the attention of the world when no one else was uh, willing to highlight the plight of the Rohingya Muslim minority in Myanmar. And of course, Syria is a country with more than three million Syrian refugees alone. And the call has gone out from Turkey to the world and especially to Europe once, twice, thrice, and more than that, that everybody should take responsibility for what's happening with people being displaced from the Syrian war. Because Turkey understands that we're not alone that you can't do anything in isolation, that we're all in the same boat, and that we need cooperation to deal with humanitarian crises. Otherwise, any solution can only ever be a temporary one. And then, of course, there was President Erdogan that we featured in the preview, the promo, if you like, of the World Forum holding up his hand at the UN Security Council and showing five fingers because the world is more than five. It's more than those five permanent members of the UN Security Council. Uh, so you know about the refugee problem, you know about the humanitarian crises. We and all other news outlets around the world have been reporting on these for years. And uh, how do we increase regional cooperation. Well, we have two very illustrious speakers here uh, to tell us about their experiences and how they feel that regional cooperation can be increased. Uh, we have the Foreign Minister of the Republic of Turkey, Mevlut Cavusoglu, and we have the former two-time Prime Minister of Spain, Jose Luis Rodriguez Zapatero. So, gentlemen, if you could come onto the stage, please. Ladies and gentlemen, our two keynote speakers this morning. So, Prime Minister, you have agreed uh, to speak first, so the floor, sir, is yours. Prime, Prime Minister. Minister Zapatero, first. Okay, muchas gracias. Buenos Thank días you very much, everybody. Good morning. Voy a hablar en, en español. I'm going to be speaking in English, in Spanish, sorry. So please en primer lugar use your a este First of all, I would like to la, thank la this forum a for having este allowed debate. me to take part in it. Es, eh, para mí una, una gran satisfacción For estar me, it's a big satisfaction to be once again in Istanbul. En esta ciudad universal, this is a universal city. En esta ciudad, eh, que une this is a city joining continents and also being here in Turkey. En un país que en gran medida this is a country which represents one que of the countries Servir para which can set an example to evaluate which is the future of the changes that we will global. see in the next future. Decir que... ¿Sí? No. ¿No funciona? ¿Su micrófono? Isn't it working? Sí, yes. My microphone is, is working? working for you? No. Is it working for you? Okay. Not working for me. Which channel? Is anybody hearing in English an English translation? No one in the room is hearing an English translation. No. You Especially are. Especially for you. Okay, I'm not hearing anything, but I speak Spanish. I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need it. Okay, so can we get a working headset here for uh, His Excellency Mr. Chavosholu? Please go. And on. then we will continue. Okay, Senor Zapatero, please. Okay, and we'll get a headset for Mr. Sí. Chavosholu. <coughs> Carry on, please. Decía que era para mí una gran As I was saying before, for me it's a huge Istanbul satisfaction to be here in Istanbul again. Recordar 
mi etapa and I also want en la que como primer ministro de España Prime Minister of tuve Spain, una relación intensa con Turquía, I had an intense relationship with una Turkey. gran relación con Turquía. I had an awesome relationship, de hecho, fuimos I have to say. patrocinadores conjuntos in fact, de una we iniciativa presidente que fue to the la Alianza de Civilizaciones It was the so en 2006 civilizations para in 2006. forjar una relación Nueva, because we wanted to have a different, a new relationship between different cultures, religions, and societies. Existían en un momento At de a certain point in history, it existed in a time of conflict. Me gustaría... Is coming? Okay. I think. I think. Well. Test them for us. Speak something and then I'll see if it's coming here. Okay. El, ah, here we go. Me gustaría, okay. sí, me gustaría destacar dos, I would dos, like uh, to state something important en esta fundamental aspects of la this reflection about cooperation mm -hmm. las and also the meaning of humanitarian crisis. Primero de ellos es la constatación, First of el hecho de que all, existen muchos fenómenos globales, global muchos phenomena. hechos globales, económicos, They can be economic. de cambio climático, They can be movimientos to migratorios, change, also conflictos, violentos, terrorismo, violence, terrorism. hay muchos fenómenos globales, We have many global pero hay which are pocas us. políticas y poco but we don't have enough policies and global. enough global governance es processes. This is the first consideration that I want to state. This idea always needs to be este present debate. whenever we reflect Por on tanto, this idea. Necesitamos, necesitamos first of all, we need to intensify and increment todo el de the whole process global. of global governance. Naciones Unidas, fortalecer. We need to strengthen the United Nations. Las alianzas regionales. We need to have regional alliances as well. Los organismos multilaterales. Multilateral organisms Los play a fundamental procesos role. de acuerdos. Together with the agreement processes. La clave de fortalecer un sistema internacional más sólido an international de gobernanza. Solid governance system is the following. Más eficaz, por tanto, we need to be en economía, en cambio climático, en movimientos migratorios, en paz. Changes, La clave está en un nuevo entendimiento entre Occidente y Oriente, en un nuevo Orient entendimiento entre países desarrollados y países emergentes, como Turquía, que ya... Más que un país emergente, es un país Turkey is emergido. not an emerging country, it's an emerged country, I have to say. ¿Por qué? Porque si algo caracteriza este momento histórico es el cambio de relaciones de fuerza económicas y geopolíticas entre Occidente y el mundo emergente, los países en the emerging countries to the developing countries. Ese es el cambio más trascendental. That's the most important change that we are seeing now. Hoy, la aportación a la creación económica, Today, al Producto Interior Bruto, es mayor de los países en desarrollo que de los países desarrollados. Europa, la vieja Europa, Europe, the so old y Estados Europe Unidos and the United States cada vez tienen un tamaño menor, un tamaño menor en el PIB mundial and smaller, in the y los GDP países emergentes, and the emerging countries, China, China, India, India Asia en su conjunto, Asia in general, parte de Latinoamérica, part of Latin Turquía, America, Turkey, un peso mayor en el contexto internacional. Hay que hacer cambios en Naciones Unidas. Hay que hacer cambios 
en el paradigma de Bretton Woods, we need to change en el Fondo, the Bretton Woods paradigma. El Fondo Monetario Internacional, we need to change the international en el Banco Fund. Mundial, As well as the World Bank. para reequilibrar geopolíticamente el mundo. Segundo lugar, esa visión global desde hechos globales, Secondly, una gobernanza global. En segundo global lugar, point of view. es necesario, imprescindible, At the same time, I can see mantener that it's viva, fortalecer to y estimular and keep alive una cultura global, global una cultura global de cooperación en dos direcciones and it has to uno go el respeto y la colaboración First, we need to and de las distintas identidades culturas y religiones respeto y colaboración de identidades culturas y religiones la alianza de civilizaciones the alliance of civilizations hispano turca de Spanish, dos grandes países Turkish con gran alliance. historia this is an alliance es en el fondo two countries with a rich culture una alianza para la civilización this is an alliance for the whole civilization porque en este siglo 21 in this 21st century la condena el rechazo the reject a la xenofobia, and the to xen al racismo, to the xenophobia, a la discriminación. To the discrimination ha de ser un rechazo universal, contundente, permanente. Well. Y el llamamiento al respeto and de religiones, de culturas, al entendimiento, cultures, a la cooperación, ha de ser esencial. And this needs to be Hagamos a fundamental de idea. We need to do it from the side of the United Nations with the y Alliance of Civilizations. Desde la Unión And Europea. we need to do it as well from the side of the European Union. Segunda dimensión que quería y con esto terminaría mi intervención. Secondly, I want to give this Segunda idea división. and I want to finish Turquía, what I was saying before. Europa, Turkey, refugiados, Europe and the refugee crisis are interrelated, Iraq, as well as the Medio war Oriente. in Syria, in Iraq, in the Middle East. Son grandes temas. These are fundamental topics, no para Turquía solo, not only for Turkey, ni siquiera principalmente para Turquía, not even just for Turkey, sino seguramente para la estabilidad y la paz global. The global stability para la estabilidad y la paz global. For the global peace El futuro and de Turquía before, depende en buena medida el the futuro de la estabilidad y la paz on the of en el Medio Oriente y en su vertiente hacia Europa. And also I'm in to sí. Ministro de Asuntos Exteriores turco. I'm with my colleague, the Tiene una gran responsabilidad. Histórica. This is a historical responsibility, I have to say. Porque el futuro de Turquía es en gran medida el futuro the of de la relación entre is Oriente the y Occidente. Siempre lo vi así como primer ministro. I was y de ahí so, mi afán I this por ese way. vínculo entre España y Turquía. Una lección, una lección de la crisis de Irak, de la crisis de Siria. Siria. Las invasiones militares. We need to learn for, from the military invasions that happened. Las guerras. From wars. Siguen siendo el gran, We still think el gran that wars lastre, la gran desgracia are the biggest disgrace para of humanity. una comunidad de países and especially civilizados. for a certain community of civilized countries. No podemos olvidar que existen we can never forget dos that factores fundamentales we have two fundamental factors influencing para acometer la estabilidad en Oriente Medio. In order to la lucha contra el terrorismo. In the East, we need to also tackle the problem of terrorism. Primero de ellos Palestina. The first problem we have is the problem in Palestine. Mientras no haya 
una estabilidad. As long as we have no stability in that region, entre Israel as long y as there's no agreement between Israel and Palestine, Palestine, un estado palestino, we will not have peace. No we habrá need to have a Palestine, Palestine state, otherwise there will be no Sigue future for the Middle East. El gran tema histórico. It's still the most historical and important topic we need to Segundo deal lugar, with. Diría que es fundamental Secondly, I would like to say that it's fundamental to incorporate todas las políticas all the relativas al cambio climático porque el 80% and the reason for this is that 80% el 80 of the conflicts de los conflictos, de las guerras que hay and en el also mundo of hoy, the wars in the world se producen en tierras are especially happening in places in which en the certification is a reality. El 80%. And I'm repeating the number, 80% of those wars. Este es un factor fundamental this is a fundamental política. factor in the political y luego, reflection. Todas las luchas contra el cambio climático, and all the fights la against the climate change as well as the energy el transformation as well as the access to water and food are related to this idea and this has to be the main international priority. En un momento en el que los avances tecnológicos we are in a time in which fundamental technological changes are transforming the world. O sea, la gran ventaja que tenemos this is the main advantage we have como civilización. as civilization. Los avances tecnológicos Technological changes Gracias and improvements are related to artificial intelligence, related to big data, Nos permiten avances and these are allowing que harán us to improve. Que muchos seres humanos and thanks to this improvement, many humans are going to be able no to have acceder. basic needs covered. Pero nuestro hilo conductor but our main link here la lucha contra el cambio climático. Y de como europeo, As an European, I have soy to say ciudadano europeo. That I'm proud to be a European soy citizen. ciudadano español. I'm Spanish as well. Amigo de Turquía. I'm a friend of Turkey. Yo quiero ver una Turquía mirando a Europa. I want to see a Turkey focusing to Europe. Quiero ver una Turquía mirando I want a Europa. To see Turkey looking at Europe. Claro, quiero ver una Europa que quiera Turquía. Of course I want to be I w of course I want to have also a Europe which is taking care of Turkey as well. Hay que volver al espíritu de la negociación. We need to return to the spirit of negotiation. Entre Turquía y Europa. That negotiation between Turkey Hay que and Europe has to be kept afloat. Los principios democráticos. We need to keep the basic democratic los principios del Estado de Derecho. Also the role los principios of law. de la cooperación and also the principles of cooperation. Hemos colaborado en la crisis humanitaria. We have collaborated in this humanitarian Fruto crisis which came out of the crisis in Syria. Sin duda, mejorable en materia of de derechos humanos. Of course, that we can improve the agreement we have regarding the human rights. Pero debo reconocer but at the same time, I need to acknowledge Turquía ha acogido a más de 3 millones Turkey has accepted more than 3 million Syrian citizens within its borders. Una hoja en la historia, that's going to una make history. That's going to be a fundamental part of history. Sí, and at the same time, como europeísta apasionado, as a person who believes in Europe, decirles que en Europa, a pesar de la crisis to say económica that y in Europe, regardless the financial and economic crisis, provocado grandes movimientos that has provoked big political movements in these last times. En Europa hay una mayoría de ciudadanos. I want to repeat that in Europe there's a majority de pueblo of europeo. citizens, a big majority of the European people que quiere una Europa that wants a real abierta, open Europe. Una Europa I'm integradora. about a Europe which wants to una integrate other people which respects de todas las culturas, all the cultures de todas las religiones. and religions of the world. Y una que and it also has to be a Europe 
ver un horizonte de Turquía en ese camino de aproximación, de entendimiento, de cercanía y, por qué no, de integración. Juntos haremos mejor las cosas. Respetándonos, cultura, religión, respetándonos, conociéndonos, interpretaremos mejor el futuro. Y sin duda alguna, Estambul, como ciudad abierta, como gran ciudad, puede jugar un papel esencial play a fundamental role en esa referencia de integración civilizatoria, de alianza, de civilizaciones. Ministro, yo deseo la estabilidad en Turquía. Deseo una Turquía como gran jugador internacional. Es lo que merece por la importancia de su país. Una Turquía en buena relación con España y una Turquía caminando hacia Europa. Una Turquía caminando hacia Europa. Muchas gracias. Mr. Prime Minister, thank you very much indeed, very eloquently presenting the problems that uh, the world faces, but also at the same time giving us hope about how we can confront the humanitarian crisis. Uh, I would like to know how many other Western leaders feel the way you do, and if they were to speak on the same subject, if they would say the same things, and you mentioned a few times your Alliance of Civilizations, the program that you were pushing the United Nations to recognize more than a decade ago now with uh, President Erdogan. Okay, Foreign Minister Chavosholu, <coughs> over you. to you. Thank you very much. I would like to thank TRT World, first of all, for hosting such an important forum, and I believe timely forum. And TRT World has become very visible uh, TV channel in all over the world and playing a very important role and filling the gap. I wish... Uh, Ibrahim Meren and the entire TRT World team uh, continued success. And today, we have been facing so many challenges. Not only European societies, but uh, societies in different parts of the world have been facing more or less the similar challenges. And when you look at the impacts, it's also global, but we need to focus on two areas. First, how to prevent the conflicts, how we can counter terrorism altogether, and how we can pay more attention to impacts of such problems or uh, humanitarian consequences of the crisis. Today, when you look at the figure, more than 65 million people are displaced from their homes by force. And no less than 25 million are refugees in many different countries. I don't know how many IDPs in their own countries. And 10 million are stateless. And how many missing persons in the world, this is very important. In 2004, I was writing a report on the, on the missing persons in Balkans. I visited all the countries in West Balkans. And Ibrahim Meren just informed me that there are more than 10,000 missing children, Syrian children in Europe. So how are we going to meet the needs of these vulnerable people? I think we need better cooperation. We need to support each other. And we need more solidarity. Now everybody is 
giving the figures about the refugees and migrants living in Turkey, Turkey indeed became a uh, destination country for refugees from different countries, not only from Syria and Iraq. They had to flee from wars. Uh, therefore, we are hosting more than 3.2 million refugees now. So far, nice words, compliments, well done Turkey, the best camps you have. But we don't see cooperation, we don't see burden sharing, and we don't see enough solidarity. We have to be very frank. I was very frank in New York as well when there was a meet, EU hosted a meeting on refugees. So how are we going to educate the refugee children? In Turkey, we have more than 850,000 school-aged Syrians and Iraqis. And so far, around 500,000 of them can go to school. EU pledged 3 billion for 2016 to the Syrians living in Turkey. So far, 880 million euros they have uh, reimbursed. And I have been urging them that these kids need school. And they actually put conditions when they were transferring the money to Turkey that with, did that, with that amount of money, Turkey cannot build new schools and classes. It took one year for me to convince our European colleagues that we have to build new schools and classes to educate those school-age children. How about the integration? There are refugees not only in Turkey. In Turkey, now we are doing our best and they can access the labor market and the healthcare system and so on. We, we, I know we need to do better. And we need to build uh, better maybe container camps, not only one room containers, because the girl who was 11 years old, six years ago, now 17 years old, 18 years old, they cannot live in one container altogether, obviously. So who is going to sponsor this? Who is going to raise the fund? This is important. And integration policy. Integration policy in Europe, in European Union, is a failure. We have to admit this. And this is another consequences of the crisis. I mean, migration, migratory flows, and the rising and anti-immigrant trend in Europe, or sentiments, and Islamophobia, Christianophobia, xenophobia, intolerance, and antisemitism as well. I know antisemitism has been quite high in Europe. Thanks to the laws, nobody can express it very freely, but it doesn't mean that it is low, it is very high. So who is going to reverse this trend? Politicians? Which politicians? Do you expect anything from radical parties? Or do you expect anything from center parties? Do you expect anything from Sebastian Kurz, who is his, his party's so-called center right? But when you look at the rhetoric during the campaign, there is no difference between the radical party's rhetoric and the Sebastian Kurz rhetoric. Islamophobic, xenophobic, and anti-immigrant, and very uh, actually disturbing. How about the media? Media can play a very important role. Now we are living, actually passing through a confusing age. It is the age of both information and the misinformation. Media is worse than politicians and the political parties in Europe. Very anti-immigrant. So who is going to reverse this trend? We miss such leaders like Prime Minister Zapatero in Europe. There is a lack of leadership, unfortunately. And during the campaigns, there is no difference between Social Democrat Party, there was no difference between Social Democrat Party, Mr. Schulz Party, and the Alternative Party in Germany either. One of them is far right, one of them is Social Democrat Party. So lack of leadership is there, and it didn't help. And 
Therefore, we need to face all these challenges together. And counterterrorism. Who is going to defeat the terrorism, uh, terrorist organization? I think we need, it's a global problem, and we need to fight together. But to do so effectively, we have to understand that there is no good, no bad terrorism. Now, we have 300,000 Syrian Kurds in Turkey. Among 3.2 3 million, 300,000 of them are Syrian Kurds. Who forced them to leave? YPG. It's a Kurdish terrorist organization. Why? Because those other Kurds do not share their political ideology and their policies. And maybe another 100,000 Syrian Kurds living in European countries, they were also forced by YPG. And this YPG gets a lot of support from our allies, from the coalition, and mainly from the United States, not only from the United States, some other countries. So how are we going to defeat terrorism while we are supporting one terrorist organization to defeat another one? Therefore, here, we need, as, as Turkey's understanding is, or foreign policy principle is, enterprising and humanitarian foreign policy. Enterprising to end the push factors of the conflicts, to end the crisis. And mediation efforts is very important. And Turkey is co-chairing the uh, mediation for peace initiative of UN together with Finland. And I hosted co-chair the Friends of uh, Mediation Group in New York in September. A month before that, we hosted the media mediation conference in Turkey, and next month we are going to host the OIC mediation conference. This is very important. We give utmost importance to this uh, initiative. And we need to create new mechanisms. That's why we give a lot of attention, pay, we pay a lot of attention to trilateral mechanisms that we created in Western Balkans, also in Caucasus, Turkey, Azerbaijan, Georgia, Turkey, Azerbaijan, Iran, and with all other countries in the, in, in the Caucasus. And Turkey, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. Turkey, Bosnia, and Serbia. Turkey, Bosnia, and Croatia. And we convinced Bosnia and Serbia to open their joint trade office in Istanbul. While we are doing this, I see the statements coming from Western Europe uh, that criticizing Turkey or seeing Western Balkans as an as a area of competition between Turkey and the West. Why? What's wrong with our initiatives? Our aim is to stabilize the region. We need it more than ever and economic development of Western Balkans is important, and the Euro-Atlantic integration of Western Balkans is so crucial. I am the NATO ally. Why do you see me as a competitor? Now Ukraine is paying a lot of cost of this understanding. And they see Ukraine as a country of competition between Russia and Europe. Now, how much are you supporting or helping Ukraine? And have you already forgotten Crimea? I see that many Western countries already started forgetting Crimea. Now, Prime Minister Zepetero, thank you very much for your tremendous support to Turkey, and you are a true friend of Turkey, and we never forget this. And I took note of your advices. Thank you very much. And our face has been always towards Europe because you, we are in this continent. Turkey is part of this continent. Like it or not, we are not outsider. And Europe is our number one trade partner. And we share the European values, common values, and we promote. We are funding members of many European institutions, including Council of Europe. And EU is 
only the institution that we couldn't become member, despite your tremendous support. Now, but we need to balance our foreign policy. Europe is not only, I mean, uh, cannot be only area of our focus. Now we have to face also, turn our face to Islamic world, which is very important. We need the unity there as well. And Africa, how about Latin America? You have been existing in Latin America for ages. And the Gulf region and Central Asia, the unity of Central Asia is important for the stability of the region and even beyond. Recently, we get a status from ASEAN. We can perfectly balance this. We have no problem. And I don't understand the criticism or question in Turkey's uh, foreign policy towards all these areas, Africa. And those colleagues and countries of those colleagues, when I ask them whether they are existing in all these countries or continents, they say yes. Because we have interest, they say. So when you go there, Am I questioning you? No. So why are you questioning me? EU membership is, is still a strategic goal for us. But I don't see this from the other side. This is the problem. In 16 years, we did our best. But we need to understand why the Turkish people are not supporting this process anymore because there is a huge disappointment and frustration. Disappointments of the EU's double standards and how they see us, and the frustration of the trends that I mentioned. Islamophobia, rising of Islamophobia, xenophobia, and, and, and Turkey bashing uh, sentiments, and this and that. So for the two reasons, that the support of the Turkish people to this process is very low. We need to manage this as well. So today, I think we need the uh, we need your initiative, initiative of yourself and Mr. President Erdogan more than ever. I mean the alliance of the civilizations. So soft power, hard power, to end the conflicts, maybe you can use hard power. We did in the past in in some countries, some regions. But without the soft power that we have been promoting, that we have been united around and the values, I think we cannot reach the lasting solutions in many areas. Now look at the consequences of the frozen conflicts. In Azerbaijan, there are more than one million refugees. And if you look at the other areas of frozen conflicts, you see the people are still suffering. Now, I don't know how many Syrians living in Lebanon, but I know that there are hundreds, hundreds of thousands of uh, Palestinians still living in uh, Lebanon, and they, they have not been able to go back because they don't have a state there. And yesterday, I made a statement to condemn the illegal, another illegal occupation. So how can you return those people while their land has been gradually illegally occupied by uh, Israel. So therefore, two-state solution is a must. I, I agree with you. I think we should leave some time for the questions as well. Well, Mr. Minister, is my microphone on? I can't even hear yes, myself. Well, now I can. We have one minute, 58 seconds. I know you're both very busy no, people we, and you have can, places to go we, to. We, we can be flexible. Okay. Say, uh, 10 well, minutes. So okay. We can so answer let me question. first applaud your speech. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Okay, I thought it was extremely interesting you're talking about issues that we all know about what's happening in the European Union, about this rise of xenophobia, of Islamophobia, which will be one of the sessions later today. Mr. Foreign Minister, how do you fight against a country? You say you share European Union values. I completely appreciate that. But what I know that Turkey doesn't share is the values of those countries that are putting up barbed wire on their borders, specifically to stop refugees and migrants who are escaping from war. How do you persuade countries like that that they need to do their part? First of all, it is unhumane. Secondly, unless 
you help those people where they live, those vulnerable people. Unless you focus the root causes of these migratory flows and you, you help them or you, you solve their problem where they live, you cannot stop them. If you, if you don't go and find themselves where they live, they will come to you. Unless you find where the terrorists are and defeat them, eventually they will come to you. You cannot say that this is good terrorists, bad terrorists, or this, is, this terrorist organization is far away from me. They cannot reach me. So two groups, migrants and the terrorists. You have to defeat one of them to stop them. And you need to help the uh, vulnerable people where they live if you don't want them in your country. So these are the, these are the not solutions. I mean, fences and the walls are not the solutions. And it is unacceptable for us. Mr. Prime Minister, you're nodding. You want to add to that? I also want to talk about the, the European Union. I think it's necessary to give further details regarding the messages sent by certain leaders. I'm coming from a country which has integrated 5 million migrants in the last 25 years. I think Spain is the least xenophobic country in Europe, is the most focused on integration. In the balconies of our city councils, we can see welcome refugees. You can see it in Madrid, in Barcelona, in Seville, and Valencia. It's obvious that a big part of the refugees want to stay in the center of Europe. Hay pocos miles que hayan llegado a España. Really migrants, Pero sorry, refugees have España decided to come to Spain. Tiene welcome refugees. But Spain says welcome to the refugees, España. and it's obvious in Spain. Después de haber integrado cinco millones, After en España no hay islamofobia. People, we are not islamophobic. No we cannot see it at all in Spain. Creo que a ello contribuyó mucho. And I'm pretty sure that the alliance of civilizations has contributed positively to this reality. And at the same time, I want to say that, of course, that there's xenophobic in anti-Islamist political parties in Europe, and they are taking advantage of the social reality in order to get benefits in the elections. This is everything coming Brexit, from the economic crisis, the same as Brexit, but which is a consequence of the so-called economic crisis. No but at the same time, there is a big chunk of no European citizens who, who are not no. xenophobic. Europe has always Debe been a welcoming no? continent, and it needs crisis to be keep being that way. Y lo que es fundamental, como siempre, this has been caused by the economic crisis, and I think it's fundamental to speak, to share knowledge. España le resulta más fácil el diálogo con el mundo For Spain, islámico. it's easier to talk to the Hay Islamic world. Del este, We have some Europa countries central, from Central Europe, pero quien which tiene have further problems, but the European Las institutions, institutions are responsible for this sharing of information. I think it's compulsory to talk to the European Parliament because they represent Europeans. And at the same time, I would like to say that the best time of the relationship between Turkey and Europe was in 2007, 2006. Y siempre he pensado and I have always thought que la de that the integration Europea of Europe, of Turkey to the European Union, is the factor most decisive 
para la paz y la estabilidad en Oriente Medio y en Europa que podemos llevar a cabo. La, la, la experiencia política, mi experiencia política, me dice que debemos ir superando prejuicios. We need to overcome Superando prejuicios. Cuando los pueblos se conocen, <coughs> cuando conviven, other, together, los prejuicios se superan. Hay países europeos que han hecho mal la integración. There are certain European countries mal la integración. Mal la integración. No se sienten integrados. Don't feel Ese es un debate abierto. That's an open debate in the European Union. Y en el, en el siglo, en el siglo de la información, and in this century de la información, of information, of knowledge, que representa esto, what does this mean? Debemos tener presente que we always need to bear tanta in mind that there is so much information genera that angustia. it generates a certain pressure. Genera angustia, más incertidumbre. It's an anguish. Uncertainty means as well. Y por tanto, es muy necesario que esa información therefore, la sepamos that information procesar. Needs to be properly digerir, processed. We need to digest entender. it. We need to understand it. Para que las sociedades no estén en un continuo estrés. Societies won't be stressed all the time. Hasta hace un siglo, un gran terremoto tardaba en conocerse Until a lo mejor dos semanas en el mundo. Ago, it took two weeks for different people of the world to know that an earthquake had happened. Y ahora cualquier hecho se conoce instantáneamente. Any small fact is cualquier hecho grave known dramático. everywhere. I'm talking about important issues. Por eso es tan necesario esto, it's so important for el debate, el diálogo, to together, la reflexión, to have a debate, la serenidad. Debemos de afirmar la creencia en los valores civilizatorios, en los valores de progreso, en todas las culturas, en todas las la religiones. Religion, Debemos de afirmar la convicción we need to state once and once again de que la violencia y el terror atraiga cada vez a menos personas. Cannot be attractive si ahora nos, people, nos angustia el terrorismo if we de la ISIS, anguished by terrorism la violencia, ISIS, by the violence it creates, pero la violencia está en la historia de la humanidad. We need to that la in the violencia whole está en la historia de la humanidad. We have had no es este un momento de más violencia This is not more que en otros momentos anteriores de la historia. Than any other time throughout no. A pesar de la guerra de Siria que hemos pensemos en el siglo XX. Dos grandes guerras mundiales. We have had two world Vietnam, wars. Corea. And la guerra Vietnam, civil española. Korea, and the Spanish civil war. Fue un siglo terrible para But la paz. A terrible century for peace. Yo creo que este siglo I think debe ser mejor. That this century needs to be better. Puede ser mejor para la paz. It can be better for peace. Y para el destino de muchos seres and humanos. Also for the destiny of many human beings. Y créanme, and please, lo que suceda con Turquía y Europa that what happens between Turkey and Europe y Palestina and also Palestine as well is going to be decisive para la paz y la for peace and stability. Por eso, ministro, That's why yo me Mr. Chabucholú I trabajando. say that I have a compromise in order to abierta. keep working for that open Europe I was talking esa about Europa que merezca la pena. that open that y porque Turquía recupere, open Europe we can be proud of and also for Turkey to recuperate this European will. Hagámoslo desde la Alianza Let's do it from the Alliance of Civil. Civilizations throughout the social, Pero no me gustaría the que civil Turquía, society, social organizations. <coughs> but I wouldn't want Turkey esa actitud 
to lose de ser un gran factor, that political un gran país, attitude un gran jugador, of wanting to be an international player. Y no solo regional. It cannot only be regional, it has to be international. Y como un europeo más, and como un gran as europeo. one European person. Gracias, Thank you very much for all your Foreign words. Minister, we're following your clock. One more question or time to leave? One more question. When you are seeking greater cooperation to address the humanitarian crisis facing Turkey, the European Union, through the movement of refugees, do you make a distinction about why people have left their country or take it even more internationally? Should it be taken into account that people leave their countries because of war, because of famine, because of natural disaster, because of economic migrants. Some countries like to say these are all economic migrants. Obviously, you can't say that about the Syrians, about so many who come from Africa. They said they just want our benefits. They want better standard of life. They want to take my job away from me. Well, you cannot <coughs> make this separation. You know, first of all, as you give the examples, these people are fleeing from famine or natural disaster, uh, terrorist organizations, ungovernable countries, or the regimes, okay, different type of regime that they don't feel safe. Therefore, whatever the reason is, uh, we need to maintain this first open door policy to help the vulnerable people. And of course, this is a global problem and regional problem. Now we have been trying to cooperate with European Union. And uh, I think European Union should pay more attention to this cooperation. And this is not only our problem. Secondly, uh, we need to, as I emphasized previously, we need to reach those people uh, in need and suffering. And for instance, in South Africa, South African countries have been hit by drought. And recently we sent a delegation there, a uh, delegation of OAC, my deputy also joined them. And Turkey has been actually reaching them since the beginning of the problem. Now what happened in Mogadishu? My condolences was again to uh, government and the people of uh, Somalia. And we have already extended our support and we brought back the wounded people for treatment in Turkey. Now, when you look at the figures, Turkey ranked second in the world in terms of humanitarian assistance after United States. We are not the richest country in the world. We are 17th biggest econ economy. And uh, Americans' assistance amounted 6.3 billion. Our assistance amounted 6.1 billion. And probably this year we will be number one. But uh, compared to the national income, Turkey is at the top in the world. Uh, humanitarian assistance and humanitarian diplomacy is priority for us and we are reaching everybody. Now we, we are reaching all these uh, Caribbean states hit by the hurricanes. We cannot say that they are far away from us. We need to help them. That's why TICA has two regional offices in uh, Mexico and in, in also uh, Colombia. Now TICA has 26 regional offices in Africa to reach all these people in need. So. Of course, when they reach you, you need to help them. But before they reach you, it is better you reach them wherever they live. Thank you. Prime Minister, briefly if you can, and then we shall finish. Sí, muy breve. No, no. Me parece esencial que eh, la reflexión en Turquía I think sobre la Unión Europea essential, that we are having in comprende Turkey dos regarding the European Union. And I think they need to focus on la two primera, different points. La Unión Europea the first tiene one is that the European Union has a growth crisis. 
En muy poco tiempo pasamos de ser 12, 15, 25, 28 países. La dificultad enorme de gobernabilidad. Dos, la Unión Europea And secondly, I las want to say de la Unión Europea that the economies of the European Union are economies that tend to have uh, small growth Vamos. throughout the time. Los países emergentes van así. The emerging countries go Los like a rocket. Como la Unión Europea desarrollados van así. The European countries they go slightly down. Y esto genera inquietud en sus And poblaciones. This a in its Esa inquietud, ese miedo, tiene That diversas manifestaciones. Y uno de ellos es el rechazo a los inmigrantes. No es tanto un problema the, cultural the ideológico, policies or sino culture. de coyuntura económica. Economy, y luego los oportunistas. Mm. Time, mm. Hay que entenderlo. Salvo, insisto, países of como España, reality, como Portugal, and, muy abiertos. De grandes países, como like Portugal y España, con valores Creo que la, la mirada de la Unión Europea a Turquía es una mirada... Debe ser una mirada abierta. Needs to be an Ahora hay nuevas rondas de diálogo. Now we have new rounds Por supuesto, of dialogue. Europa tiene unos principios And of course, de derecho, there are certain values of Europe, like the rule of law, los derechos de libertad, which are important also pero es rights related to peace. La But I think it's fundamental to go deeper en la relación Unión Europea and to strengthen the relationship between the European Union para que Europa tenga and una Turkey adecuada de Oriente Medio, de la crisis en Siria, en Irak. Point of view regarding the crisis in Syria and Iraq, regarding the Balkans as well. Fundamental. That cooperation has to be a must. Y por ello me parece que es que sería muy muy and importante. And that's why I think it could be extremely important. Partenariado Turquía España. To have a partnership between Turkey and Spain. Una gran fuerza. And Créanme, I think this partnership España, needs to get even stronger. Spain is the main speaker España, of Turkey in Europe. Spain is the country ¿no? which has done the most in order supuesto, for Turkey to reach the European Union. And at the same time, I want to acknowledge a Turquía, a su gobierno, that the Turkish política, government en materia has done humanitaria. An important policy Creo que es muy importante que muchos ciudadanos europeos, la sociedad europea, conozcan lo que está haciendo con los niños sirios aquí. Que se sepa, Syrian no se conoce. Hay que intensificar esa información porque eso aproximará mucho y cambiará sure la percepción de muchos ciudadanos. Ladies and gentlemen, we have overrun, but I hope uh, you'll feel that it was worth it after this very short coffee break that's coming up. It's going to be a session moderated by my colleague David Foster, Transforming Humanitarian Aid. Uh, Mevet Chavosholu and Jose Luis Rodriguez Zapatero, thank you very much indeed, gentlemen. Thank, thank you. you.